neither Russians nor those who read Russian literature abroad uh, look at those stories. And I'm not just thinking of Pushkin in the Caucasus, also Lermontov in the Caucasus, an incredibly strong example of what I'm talking about. These are the people that, uh, the writers, Pushkin and Lermontov, that describe the genocide of, of the Circassians as if it were, well, just a, a hunting trip. Hunting trip and they're just killing animals, you know, because that's what hunters do. And nobody is raising the question of, well, look, these are, these are real people. And these people lived in those areas for hundreds of years and those areas belong to them. Basically, it's easy to fool both Russians and foreigners because I don't recall that anybody ever raised the issue of, look at those works. They describe a genocide. Nobody has raised that issue until I think Tolstoy in his last great short story, Haji Murad, is a very powerful uh, story and it really tells us what was going on in the Caucasus. And uh, that's why I admire Tolstoy because he was the only one in Russian literature, Russian culture really, that said it very succinctly and very beautifully. Uh, this was a genocide. And that, as he said, the Caucasus people didn't hate the Russians. They were beyond hate. They were so terribly uh, destroyed that they couldn't even hate. It was, it's a beautiful story, should be read by everyone that is interested in Russian history. And of course, the, the Caucasus was not the only, uh, the only uh, area where Russians committed atrocities. When you think about the conquest of Siberia, which is really not written about much, either in the West or in, or in the East, that is something that still awaits its chronicler. What was happening there, we know a little bit of it, but we do not really know the details and something that I think we should know. But again, the West just looks at war and peace and looks at Anna Karenina and says, well, these are our masterpieces. Well, they are actually, but you know, you can, you can be a great writer and at the same time promote a very uh, evil ideology that happens in Germany a lot. So Russia as well.